whether you like it or not. What? You want to know what to talk about? Is it starting first, now? First he goes would. first. Well, let's decide who goes let's first. Let's introduce just, ourselves. Just stay quiet and don't worry about it. We'll right. just have a little talk. And first of all, you got to say who you are and what the date is today. Do you know what the date is today? No. I know third. Oh, yes, September 3rd. Did Nin I ask you Nin to I'm yeah. not speaking to you. You want to just listen. Okay? September 3rd. Saturday. Saturday. Mm. And where are you? It's 10.02. Where are you? Babchi's house. Where is that? <laughs> <laughs> right here. Where's right here? This I don't. I don't here. know what street you're sure on. You <laughs> what no, town is this? Pennsylvania. Psych. <laughs> Psych. Okay. I don't know. It is Pennsylvania. What's the name of this town? Where the railroad is? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Don't you remember? No. <laughs> I don't remember anything. Sorry. Well, this is my daughter Helen. Is that who it is? She's no. nine years old. She's really Helen. And this is my pop, uh, Joe Grabowski. I'm her pop. <laughs> is that who your pop is, Joe Grabowski? So, well, well, let me ask Helen. What is it that you like to do when you come to Bob Chi's house? I guess listen to Bob Chi and Dad just talk and then go downstairs and watch TV. Mm -hmm. What, why do you like to come to Babji and Jaju's house? To see him. Uh -huh. And um, what else? What do you get when you come here? What does Babji always do for you? Oh, she gives us dinner sometimes, mm -hmm. and she gives us dessert. She gives us candy. She mm -hmm. always gives us a dollar when we leave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing you remember is the dollar when you leave. <laughs> no. <laughs> but when you come here, there's usually not too many treats there, right? Yeah. No, there aren't too many treats, and there's never any kind of thing to drink or. Yes, there is. <laughs> <laughs> and always, just a few things on the table to eat, right? I uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell us what hap what happens when you come here for dinner. Is there lots of food? Yeah, there's lots of, lots of food. Like usually things that you like. Yeah, except for peas and stuff. No. But what are, what are some of the things that Bobchi fixes that you really like? You stay out of it. What are some of the things that Bobchi cooks that you really like? Oh, what's it called? Uh, sauerkraut. Sauerkraut. Uh huh. You sauerkraut. like kibasi? Mhm. Mm uh, I sometimes I like her hand, her her hand, I'm hand. Chicken, all that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah. Oh. How about you look into the camera, Kate, and Joe? Okay. And you talk to her and just. You should look at each other, but at the same time, you know, you can you can look to the camera occasionally, see what's going on. Hi, Papa. Well, Helen was born in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Oh, well, we're yes. living in Wilmington, Delaware. Now. Alan, what would you say about Wilmington, Delaware? Is it a nice place to live? Yeah. Do you like it there? Do you have friends? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are people friendly and nice to each other? No. No? <laughs> mm -hmm. Why? Why do you say no? Because a lot of people always fight. Fight? Do other, people, do other children and your friends, do they share their toys with you? Sometimes. What do your friends usually play with, with you? What games do you play? Uh, like, uh, I don't know, all the games. Like, I have a new friend named Stacy, and we dress up her cats. It's funny. What was the new game you just got for your TV? Um, Nintendo, Mario Brothers, and Duck Hunt. <laughs> Did they play that game with you a lot? Uh, sometimes, but not a lot. Mm. So you like living in Delaware? Mm-hmm. But I'd rather live in Florida. Why? Because
because when you drive, you get it to be 14. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you want to drive. <laughs> or, or if you drive, where would you go? To the mall and to the movies mm -hmm. and to Toys R Us. And you'd never have to ask anyone for a ride, right? Right. <laughs> okay. Well, you're getting ready to start school now, aren't you? Yes. In a few days. Three days, right? Um, yeah, I think so. Are you looking forward to going back to school? Yeah, but I don't want to. Would you rather have more summer? Yes. Why don't you ask your daddy questions? I don't know any questions to ask. If you don't, we'll try. Uh, <laughs> uh, ask him how old are you? How old are you? I know, third. I already know. He's 38. I think I'm almost 39. And how much does he weigh? I don't know. When you ask him. How much do you weigh? 170. 170? <laughs> We've been getting involved in a project, Helen and I, with all the rest of us, too. <sighs> what project is that? You want to talk about that? I guess. What do you do? Um, play drums. Helen plays the drums. Play the drums? And sometimes the piano. Are you a percussionist? Is that what you are? Uh, I guess. <laughs> But when Casey's, but when Casey's not um, there, sometimes I play bass. Hmm. Stop. Well, it's gonna look very pretty when you see yourself making those faces. You enjoy that too. <laughs> That's what you do. You ignore him. See, it's what you have to do. Don't even look at him. Just don't. Okay. See, as though he's not even sitting. Just assume he's transparent. He's suddenly invisible. Okay. That's the way to do it. So you don't even look at him, see? You but don't make any faces. You're not supposed to have any distractions okay. when we're doing this. You're supposed to just sit there and be quiet. And you're not supposed to be talking to me. Yeah, I know. Well, why don't you just stay out of it then? Okay. So what else do we do? Well, I'm, I see that watch on your wrist, and I don't know what it is. What kind of watch is it? A swatch? Is it? Freestyle. It's a what? Freestyle. What does that mean? I don't know. Well, what's freestyle mean? <laughs> uh, I don't know, but like it's better than a swatch because it can go in water and it like has all this um, stuff on it. Oh, so it's a waterproof watch. Uh huh. What do you mean all this stuff? You mean like, functions? And, yeah, and like like you can um like like if you're running, you can time yourself. Stopwatch. Yeah, stopwatch. Mm -hmm. You ever see the watch your cousin Hank wears? No. He wears. <laughs> they got it at McDonald's. <laughs> Honestly, where's McDonald's where? watch? He says it works better than any watch he has, even the most expensive one. Oh. It looks like it's made out of bubble gum. It's red. <laughs> red and transparent. <sighs> well, you're a loss of words, huh? Uh huh. I see you got some kind of a strange t shirt on with a couple of cat eyes in it. And it said, oh, there it is. And now it says Helen. Mm -hmm. Helen means what? <laughs> uh, your name. Yeah. <laughs> How old are you, Helen? Nine. Nine what? <laughs> Nine, Nine months? Nine years Nine old. Nine decades? Nine years old. Nine years old. Almost ten, really. Almost ten? Birthday is October. Twenty-third. Well, you're not very happy. You're you're sitting there like uh, you're frightened of the camera. You're frightened of the camera. You're not frightened. No. Of the Your daddy is probably going to talk to Casey and see if he can act sensitive no, on TV or if he's going to be stupid. You would think he'll be stupid or will he be sensible? He'll be stupid. His normal self. I'm going to beat you. <laughs> Okay, well, that's your short interview for this time. Okay, and away we go. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see, Joe. You can you can ask him the questions and let him answer you, and then later on, Casey, you can ask your daddy questions, okay? Okay. He's got a lot of questions for daddy. Joe, you can ask Yeah, all right. This is 
This is Casey Grabowski. How old are you, Casey? I'm a decade and one and a half years old. There you are. It's pretty good. 1.15 <laughs> You can look decades. into the camera and take yeah. Joe. You know, no, I forgot. Yeah. So he's 11 and a half. One decade and one and a half years, right? That's and this true. is the summer of 1988. How was your summer, Casey? Most stupidest summer I've ever had. Why? Well, for one thing, all the raw sewage that's been spilled into the ocean. But we haven't been to the beach. Do you have to the beach all this summer? No. no. Well, I didn't want to go. Gone. I didn't want to go. Well, I'll well, yeah. get sun cancer. Or skin cancer. <laughs> it's sun cancer. It's skin, kind of cancer. <clears throat> skin cancer. Well, what have you been doing all summer? Uh, sitting around the house, going to skate, and going to the pool. Uh, going to the pool. Okay. It's well, it's better than being out in the 100 degree heat. Mm hmm sweating it out at least you had a place to be to cool off right mm-hmm and you've been skateboarding huh mm -hmm. how, how, are you a good skater uh pretty good i'm okay you're as good as nikki um better huh some <laughs> see i don't know if you can see <laughs> what is it about skateboarding that you enjoy um the challenge the challenge what yeah. kind of a challenge you're going up on a on a curb, and flying through the air, is that what it is? Well, somewhat. There, there's all kinds of stuff. See, it's its harder than it looks to just, because some people just think it's dumb. See, I think baseball is baseball dumb, because... Yeah. <laughs> well, let's just talk about skateboarding. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I like you already said about baseball. What about baseball? Okay, I read this in an interview, and I agree with this guy. He said, um, you're sitting out in 100 degree, we degree weather, um, in the outfield waiting for a ball to be hit and you're depending on eight other little fat kids to to <laughs> to help you so that's that's why i think it's stupid so yeah. skateboarding is more of a personal challenge yeah. is that the idea mm -hmm. well they skate in teams mm. sometimes i used to be in a team it was really stupid well mostly it's fun just to be with your friends ride around on your skateboards and i've tried it myself and you can get from point to point more rapidly on a skateboard than you can just by walking. And it, it is a means of transportation. Yeah, just like when to a Nicky point. was here and he went down the, the hill, do you remember? Well, he never should have tried that. And he went down probably very, very fast and he, and he went over head over heels and he had s bruises and scratches over his elbows and knees. Well, he, he, really got, he really got banged up that day, you know? He didn't know what he was doing. See, I, I don't go down hills because I've had my experiences because I was riding down just like lying down like on my skateboard going down this really steep hill and then they had a big giant speed bump at the end and I did and I hit it I did an air this high and I started speed wobbling I was going like that I fell off I ripped up my side I ripped up my shorts I ripped up my side I about your skin did you rip up your skin that's what I mean like I like me, you me learned your lesson the hard way. Yes, right? so I, don't, I only go down hills like a small bit. Well, if you ride the board, right, you have one foot on the board and one on the ground, you kind of break as you go down the hill. So, mm -hmm. so yeah. skateboarding is a real pleasure for you, huh? Mm -hmm. He loves his skateboarding. Okay, Casey, you can ask your daddy questions. Um, there's one thing I'd like to say. Helen is not part of the band. She is just, she, okay, she's supposed to come with us, but instead she sleeps over at her friend's house. Well, you go out and skateboard sometimes instead of mm. coming to band practice, yeah. so. Oh, we needed you that one night. La last, last night, well, she didn't come. All in due time, it's just, I feel it's an activity <laughs> for them that's enriching and could be rewarding. It's better than sitting around watching TV, which is what they do too much. That's what I think. When you so. come up here to Bakshi Darsha, that's what you do. You sit <coughs> and watch TV instead of talking, just like you're talking now. We don't usually get to hear you speak like that. See, you can talk intelligently instead of making faces and, and playing with your knees and clapping. And, and then suddenly, uh, suddenly you're a different person, see? And you'll see what you look like doing that. So, you know, you have to make faces. I told you, 
assume she's invisible there, and you'll find it's much easier, right? It is. Sure. It's good for them to learn to work together on something. Mm -hmm. But but who is actually involved in the in the um, music? Gwen is. Well, all four children: Nick, Gwen, Casey, and Helen. What does Helen do? Sleep most of the time, or checks. Well, she plays piano and drums. And wants to learn to play bass, but it's a little bit too big for, too big for her, her fingers. That's true. So, and uh, I never thought I would get involved in something like this. I've had all that equipment for all these years, mm -hmm. just had it sitting in the back room. And now all of a sudden we're adding on and and making use of it and for once I see Casey and Helen working together on something instead of fighting so it's it's good from that point. Do you love your sister? Which one? Both of them. <laughs> uh, somewhat and no. Not yet. Well, you will later on. Don't worry about it. And um, now with just a, a few more days yep. what is it? Three. What's Three the days. song that you sing when you go back to school? Uh, what is it when they finish school? About dirty looks? And no more pencils, no more books, books. No, no more teachers, teachers dirty looks. But now when you go back, how does it, what's the, what's the poem that you get there? So don't have one. I don't say them. Some children are, are glad to go back to school. Well, I'm sort of, um, I can, I'd like to go back and see my friends, but I could pass on the work. We went through the shop today they were down at the plant with me at the end of the yeah. day. Mm -hmm. And we went back in the warehouse and picked out paper for book covers. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you make your own book covers? That's good. You put stickers all over them and write all over them, right? Okay, very good. So oh. we'll, we'll just terminate Can I that. ask some my dad some questions? Oh, go ahead. You want to ask him? Go ahead, go ahead. So, um, how have you been lately, Jill? Joe, Joe, I mean Daddy, Joe, Joe, Dad, Thaddeus, <laughs> Thaddeus. <laughs> How have I been? Mm. Well, things have been very hectic, and I've been making every effort to keep my sanity. That's how I've been. You know what sanity is? What sanity? Hmm. No. Okay, that's one question, yes. So what's another question? What's wait, what's sanity? What's what? Sanity. What's sanity? <laughs> sanity is when one moment you can just remember what happened the previous moment. And also you can tell for some somewhat some certainty what's going to happen the next minute or so. And there are times where I can't tell what what happened, what's going on, or where I'm going. <laughs> That's called insanity. Well, that the only thing is, it. most of us are afflicted that way, including your mother and your father. <laughs> so none of us ever knows for sure. Do you have another question for your daddy? Um, yeah, but I think I'll... Um, it's an interesting question. Mm -hmm. Ask me how my summer has been. Mm -hmm. How has your summer been, Joe? Who? Joseph. I don't like to hear you call any older person by their first name. He's your father, not your pal. He can be both, but he's your father first. So now ask the question in proper fashion. How has your summer been, Father? <laughs> it's been one continuous effort to stay out of the heat. And what are we going to do Labor Day in music? I think we're going to Philadelphia. Ooh, okay. And we'll also go to the mall to look for clothes. Back to school clothes. I hate the mall. Well, that's why we might go to Philadelphia. Also because Nick needs new ear pins, ear hangers. I need some too. Yeah, you can't really call them ear rings. Well, do you have any? You just have a pin. Uh, ear pins, ear hangers, ear stickers. <laughs> Why? I need My question. That's, Why? That's a good question. Uh -huh. 
Um, why does that got to do with school? We won't worry. For me, it's not a question of why, it's a question of how long. <laughs> so stay out your own. I sure hope well. that's yeah. <laughs> Okay. Maybe maybe that's this is the end of that section of the interview, okay? Okay. Well, this is my elder daughter. Eldest daughter. No, elder. Eldest of two. No, it would be the eldest of Four. more than one. If it's two, it's the elder. All right. Two. Have it your way. Hey, this is my us. elder daughter. And would you like to give us your name? Gwen. <laughs> and how old are you, Gwen? What, wait a minute. That's not your full name, though. Is it Gwendolyn? Gwendolyn May Grabowski. Gwendolyn May Grabowski. How do you feel about that name? I hate it. <laughs> Everybody hates their own name when they're your age. What name mind. would you rather have? Veronica, with hiding, you see, there was an actress named Veronica Lake who always had her hair hiding one <coughs> eye, and she was very famous for that in Hollywood. Is that what you want to be like, Veronica Lake, right? Don't even know who Veronica Lake is, that's all right. <laughs> well, what, would you rather have like a cutesy name, like no. Stacy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, this, or Mabel. A yuppie name. Yeah. What, what kind of name do you want? I don't know. If you could change your name, what would you have it be? I don't know. Or think about it. I like, I like it when yeah, girls' names are guys' names. Like, well, I can't think of one now, but let's see. Bobby. Yeah, but I don't like Robin. that one. Robin. Chris. Um, yeah, Chris. I like that. Chris. Well, that's about Christmas. Okay, Joe, you get, you, you, you got her name, but that's mm -hmm. all. What is she, 12 years old? 13. I asked him about you. <laughs> Good defensive. How about a girl? Well, let's see. The three younger children all have birthdays at the end of the year. So Gwen's 13, but she will be 14 in December. November. Excuse me, November. So, how was your summer, Gwen? Boring. This is the summer of 1988, which is drawing to a close here on Labor Day weekend. Known as the Boring Summer. The dog. So he, this is a boring summer that you've had. What have you done this summer? Uh, let's see. I went to the beach, I think, twice, like once for a week with my friend and then once I went with my mom. Well, it wasn't any fun at the beach? It was boring? Or? Yeah, it was fun at the beach, but that was only one week out of the entire summer. Well, better than I do. <laughs> That's right. You're lucky to have that. Yeah. Maybe day. you get a job, Gwen, and you're going to find out, oh, what a boring summer this is. Yeah, now if you work at Diamond Printing, it's never <laughs> boring. Never boring. <laughs> but uh, you, um, you went to the swimming pool, and it was nice and cool there, wasn't it, in the water? Mm -hmm. Place to go. And, Soda machine where you could get stuff to drink, and you had a so you had a cool cool refreshment and a cool place to jump in, and I don't see why you you're complaining really. Because we could never get a ride there. Can yeah, you huh? swim, Gwen. Yeah. Can you swim. They're all you dive. Yeah. What kind of dive? Well, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a word that says yes. Instead, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I can dive. That's better. Very good. <laughs> So Gwen was born and lived the first years of her life in Lancaster County and then we moved to Wilmington when you were, I suppose you were seven years old? No. I can remember, you remember six, this too, Frank, six Gwen was old. born and uh, your mother, after she delivered you, in about what, 20 minutes or half an hour, called us here and was like she was overjoyed. Violet Peck called from the delivery room. Do you remember? And then no, but but uh, she, but it was. Uh, and we hear you cry. The yeah. baby cry and talk to us on the phone. And, uh, and Helen also. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but your mother was so happy. She was yeah. like she was jumping up and down the bed almost. She was almost well, was screaming good. with joy because she had she only about half an hour after you were born. Imagine, she didn't know what she was getting into. Getting a girl like Gwen, mm -hmm. all the trouble girl like Gwen is. Are you trouble for your mother? Sometimes. You're yeah, fine. She helps. helps only me. sometimes. 
She helps out a lot. Do you help out a lot, really? Yeah, not lately. Not lately. In the beginning, I signed it. Well, anyway. How would you describe Wilmington, Delaware, after having lived there, what, eight years? I don't know. I don't like it. You don't like it? Which did you like better? I like the country. What do you like the country? Why do you like the country? I don't know. Fresh air. Is that the only reason? <laughs> no. You can run around now. I don't like sitting in front of the TV, but sometimes there's nothing else to do. Because there's no other kids around. Well, there are, but they're all littler. Like, they aren't my age group. One thing I would like to ask you is when you speak, you enunciate a little better. You know, move your lips here. Here's how you're looking when you speak. No, wait. Let her see yourself. You're just interviewing. Let them see so themselves. I know, but I wanted to be aware of it because otherwise right. you're going to be very unhappy. How about the people that you've met in Wilmington, Delaware? How would you describe them? Are they friendly? Some of them are. Are they helpful? Do they seem considerate of other people? Or are they mostly selfish? Well, my friends aren't. They aren't selfish, but the people that I've met and stayed friends with and then had a fight with, <laughs> they're no, that, selfish. That happens. that happens. So social life is pretty good in Wilmington. Yeah. Who's your best friend? I don't like best friends. You don't like best friends? It's well, who dead. is your friend then? Well, any of these birds is children your friend? Used to be. What do you mean used to be? I don't like them. They're like snobs and all. They're, all, they're stupid. Yeah, they have a they lot of problems to be now. They're snobby about. They have a lot of problems. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's, there's a lot going on there. That <sighs> well, stay away from yeah, them, Gwen, because yeah. trouble just leads to other trouble. You know. Yeah, they're all going the wrong way. It seems. I got sick of Angie because she always put me down for everything. Well, let's talk about some of your other friends. You have the friend you went to the beach with for a week. Her name's Elizabeth. Yeah. What's her last name? Yes. What? What's her name? Last name? Johnson. Elizabeth Johnson? Johnson or Johnston? Johnson. Well, then it's Johnson. That's what I said. They Johnson. They seem like really nice people, and you had a nice time staying at their beach house, or was it a, a home? It was a um, trailer thing in a um, trailer park. It was on Route 1, so they would drive us to the beach in the boardwalk. But oh, okay. So it was close to the beach, but it was in a mobile home? Yeah. Oh, that's all right. Yes. yes. <laughs> that's right. Remember that. And I do it sometimes. I say, yeah, but it, see, I shouldn't say that because it sounds like careless. It's careless speech. Careless speech doesn't get anybody anywhere. So anyway, uh, you're, so you've been swimming and you don't have a best friend, but you have some friends. I have a close friend. Oh, is it a boy? No. Why no, not? it's a girl that I knew since like second grade. Oh, that's good. You know her, Joe? I'm not sure. Yes, yeah, Stacy. Oh, yeah. My mom's boyfriend's daughter. Their, uh, <laughs> quote, stepfather's daughter. Stacy Graves. How old is she? Uh, 13. 13? Mm-hmm. When's her birthday? She just turned 13 in June. So you're a year older than she is? About. I'm a year older than all my friends. Mm. <laughs> oh, you're the, you're the old lady of the bunch, is that it? I guess. <laughs> One year doesn't matter that much, but you wait. When you're 22, they'll be 23, or you'll be 23. What's the difference? Yeah. One year is nothing. Okay, okay. do you want to ask your daddy any questions? No. <laughs> Well, let's see. No uh, questions? No questions. Nothing about me you'd like to know? No. Ask your dad what he did in the summer when he was young. That's interesting. What did you he do wasn't in the bored. Summer? Well, Click dad bones. well, we used to <laughs> catch frogs and <laughs> crayfish and snakes if we could find them. We used to go fishing play baseball, um, sometimes football, but th that was usually in the fall. Or the and you too thought you were bored during the summer? No, I never thought that way. Ball. We had a lot of interests. Boy Scout. Yeah, we went to Boy Scout camp several times during the summer. Rode your bicycle. Yeah, going on bicycle rides. Had a wreck. 
Yeah, I got my knees scraped up, my elbows. Does that sound exciting? Built tree houses. Um, houses out of paper boxes? Yeah. A farmer came after you with his shotgun or something? No, I never had trouble with Indians. that. See that? Your the dad remembers good things. See, when you get a little older, Gwen, you remember all the good things. You don't remember all the all bad the things. <laughs> you notice your dad didn't say anything about watching television. They watch Spin and Marty in the yeah, we watched television before and after dinner, and I remember we used to always go to bed early, even in the summertime. No, I think nine o'clock was bedtime, but I can remember going to bed and the sun was still up. Sometimes, if we had a babysitter, for example, on a Friday night, we'd be put in bed at seven thirty on a summer night. I don't remember. I can remember. I can remember being in bed saying, "How much?" When you were four years old. No, no. But your dad that. was in the hospital. I got you ready for bed early. I know that was early. And I can remember getting bed and saying, how am I going to fall asleep when the sun's still shining? I mean, it was just about ready to set, you know, so another half an hour it would go down. And then By the time you quit fighting and fooling around up there, you fell But we never slept late. Like, they, they sleep till 10 o'clock. See, that's the difference, because they're but, out on the farm. But we would always go to bed early, even in the summertime, and then we'd get up at least at 8 o'clock every morning. Yeah. You want to ask your dad any other questions then, Gwen? Hey, what do you think of the band? Well, this band is a rather um, vague concept. It's at the moment it's a project that we're working on that developed when one day I came over from my visitation to the children's house, and Nick says, "Oh, look what I have!" And from a friend of his, he had bought a some wild-looking guitar. <laughs> How much did you pay for it? $5? No, $65. $65. Yeah. It was a, it's a nice guitar, though. Well, you so remember the first one your group had? Who bought it? You did. No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't buy it. I, I paid some of the money, but I paid it very reluctantly. But who bought Who wanted it? Bill. Yes, Bill was the one who wanted it. And I thought, what? $65 for a guitar? It's crazy. You can't spend that kind of money. The next guitar would cost 150 with a speaker. And the next guitar I had that cost seven hundred dollars, as I remember. And no, I almost flipped. No, no, the next one was three hundred. Three hundred. Yeah. Like that. So that's what you're going through the same pains with them. So. Well, I, I saw they had it, and I thought, well, if he's going to get interested in it, I'm not going to. I'll neither encourage or discourage it. But he seemed really interested, so I took this wild looking. It was one of these flying V. Yeah. Types, and. It was rather radical. I thought he ought to start off with something more traditional. Sure. So we went and traded it in on a uh, Les Paul <laughs> style guitar. When did Bill get those for? Was that later? Oh, that was just recently. That was like a month ago for Nick's birthday. Yeah. Yeah, Nick has his. He's he's graduated to the real thing. Yeah. <laughs> he's got thing. he's got quite a nice instrument now. You believe that, Gwen? Did he graduate to the real thing? The guitar. Yes. The guitar that he has now. That red one. Yeah. Yeah. What, do you play the guitar too? Which instrument? Oh, I feel like me and Helen, it's not really... For me and Helen. Helen and I. Helen and I. No. Well, for, for Helen, Helen and, and me. me. That's correct. Um, no, it isn't. Yes, it is. Yeah, you would say, me is good. No, you say, anyway. Helen and me. It's <laughs> we, the object. We, so Helen and I. When you object oh, to wrong. me. Go ahead. Well, we, we <laughs> don't play, like... A uh, um, certain instrument, we like switch off from drums to piano, and we don't play it all together. With the drums, one person would play a beat and another person would play a beat, and it would fit together. Yeah, we don't have a set of drums. We have a set of electronic drums that are on stands, and so we'll place two drums on a stand on one side, two on the other side, and then the bass drum, we don't have a pedal for it, so somebody hits it with a beater. I see. So we can have as many as three people playing percussion. And when you coordinate it, it sounds good. pretty good. So. Well, it sounds like you got something going then. Can yeah. you do the singing? Can you sing a song? Now? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Give her a pitch or something. <laughs> I, I only sing one song. Mm -hmm. What's it called? I don't called? know if I sing it. Cities and Dust. Mm -hmm. Cities and Dust. Give her a little bit of help. Wait, let's hear it like this. Yeah. Some water. Wait. Oh, okay.
Is anyone else going to see this? No. <laughs> You're funny. Is that you believe everything? <laughs> okay. Something but anyway. Funny. I'll sing it. How does, how does the, give her a picture, Josie. Water was mine. Chip, wait. Water was mine. Chip, wait. But don't it's look at the, don't look at the camera. See that when you're on a big time television, they always look at the camera right there, right there. See? And that's too high though. Water no, was running. Children were running. That's low, it's true. Yeah, that's you feel we'll get to feel it yourself. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right, be quiet. Water was running. A little too low, I think. Nah, that's my voice. It's low, it's a low song. Okay. And I have a low Children were running. A you were running out of time under the mountain, a golden fountain. Were you praying at the Lara's shrine? But oh, 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 your city lies and dust, my friend. Oh, 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 oh your city lies and dust. My friend. There you go. Good. Well, that's a good way to end up this interview with uh, uh, the first performance on television of Gwen Grabowski. And she is. Uh, you had your chance. Her, she's on the road. She's on the way to becoming a great star. Is that right, Gwen? Were you praying at the Larsham boat? Oh, 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 your city lies in dust, my friend. Oh, 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 your city Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. <laughs> one, three. Hello, my name is Casey Grabowski, and I'm here with my sister, Gwen Grabowski, and she is 13 years old, right? And she's going to be 14 in November. And I am a decade and one and a half years old. That's 11 and a half. That's 11 and a half. Um, and I will be 12 in December. So, um, so Gwen, how, are, how have you been today? Fine. <coughs> um... Did you win any of the things in Boggle? Yeah. Okay. Well, that explains it. Um, explains what? What does it explain? How many things I won? Yeah, how many things did you win? Wait. Well, oh, yeah. mm, about, I don't know, two or three. No, two. So, have you made any new friends lately? Yeah. Such as? Well, what do you mean? Over the summer? Yeah. Yeah, the, the kids at the pool. Mm. Um, have you, um... Been sleeping well lately? Yeah. <laughs> are, are, are you ready to get up for school? Yeah, I guess. I did all that babysitting over the summer. Yeah, um... So I guess you're ready for school then. Okay. So? For babysitting. I had to get up at like 5, no, yeah, 5 in the morning because I had to be over there by 5.30. Gee. That's crazy. <laughs> so who's been the worst kid that you've ever <laughs> that you that you ever faced? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Who's been the worst kid you've ever babysitted for? Or babysat for? Uh, oh. Joey. Joey. Joey? Who's Joey? A little kid um, who lives almost across the street from us. And he's like brat. <laughs> What's his last name? I don't know. Yeah. But like he didn't go to bed when I went in until his mom sent him to bed. And then he fell asleep on the floor. <laughs> and I had to carry Did him you spank him? No. Why not? Because babysitters aren't supposed to spank the kids. They're kid. not, huh? And then there's this other time when a kid named Michael threw a plastic Chinese star thing into my <laughs> head. <laughs> but it was, it was like, it was just the, soft. It wasn't, no, it wasn't pointy. It was round things. Oh. So it didn't do anything. Oh, and the Yeah, it hurt. It no, hurt. No, it was plastic. Almost knocked you out, huh? No. <laughs> How much did you charge him extra for that that night? Why not? 
it says hazardous pay. <laughs> I'll tell them the kids. Okay. Besides, I what think the dad was there. How about you, Casey? What, what about me? Were you picking your nails? No. What are you doing? I'm picking at a cut. Picking at a cut. Yep. Okay. So, you had your say. What, what do you want to do? You want to sing? So, sing. I'm going to sing. Okay. Come on. Um, what should I sing? Uh, Red Skies. Okay. This was originally by The Fix. Don't so go ahead, sing. <laughs> Red skies at night. Red skies at night. Whoa, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, 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 oh. Red skies at night. Red skies at night. Whoa, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, 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 oh. Should have taken warning. It's just before morning running, heaven knows you can't find find a place to go. So it's red skies at night, red skies at night. Whoa, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, 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 oh. Then there's some other parts of it. But that's just like the first verse. Okay? Yeah. What are you going to sing? Me? Yeah. Again? You sing again? Care. I don't care. <sighs> How yeah. about if Gwen asks me some questions? No, she's going to sing. We gotta cut with her. Let you talk to Eric. Okay. No. What should I sing? sing? Because their scavenger hunt is almost ready. Just sing anything. Just, you don't, don't sing it. Say, sing a beautiful first. You say a song. A beautiful song? Yeah, right. I'll sing. Sing Madonna. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'll sing that song again. Yeah, no, no, just I'll sing a different verse. I'll sing different verses. Eric, do, don't do it. Eric. They're done. What? Wait a minute. You need a flashlight. No, that flashlight's not strong. Okay, let's see. Are you guys taping? Yeah, Helen. Come on. Come on. We've got to go. Okay. Hey, Eric, oh, get over here. Get over here. Watch that lamp. Turn okay. it off. Turn it off. Oh, we need to go. You guys, okay, you can leave then. Uh, uh, go ahead, Casey. Oh. Uh, don't you want to wait? wait? Just, just. It's getting dark now. Okay. Oh, well, I gotta go. All right. Bye. All right. All right. Now. Yeah. Okay. Let's try to sing. Okay. I'll sing the the rest of the song. Well, want me to sing the whole song? Just sing. I don't care what you're okay. singing. Water was running. Children were running. You were running out of time Under the mountain A golden fountain Were you praying at the Lord's shrine But oh, oh, oh your city lies in dust My friend Oh, 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 oh your city lies in dust My friend Music, music we do, do they just sit there? Bah, bah, no! Bah, 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 bah. Come on, let's go. Okay, Eric, it's finished. We Come found on. you hiding. We found you lying. Choking on the dirt and sand. Your former glories and our stories. Dragged and washed with eager hands. But oh, oh, your city lies in the my friend, oh, 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 your city lies in the host, my friend. It has music. Well, it has other verses. Want me to sing them? Or? No, that's good. Enough. Um, uh, uh, hi, uh, this is Elizabeth Darling. Uh, how old are you? How old are you? Seven. How old are you? Seven. And I, my name is Helen Grabowski. I'm nine, and I was on a few. I think yeah, yesterday. Um, how do you feel? Do you like your hair crimped? Yeah. Do you Do you really like it? Yeah. How does your mom feel about it? Do you know? No. Mother doesn't like it. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Me 
How does your dad feel about it? <laughs> he likes it. You think he does, huh? He just hasn't warmed your pants to let you know how he really feels. <laughs> the seat of your pants. So you have a treasure hunt today. What'd you get? What kind of treasure did you find? Well, we only got a quarter. <gasps> and then we had the... And then we got... Um, we made <laughs> our own and the boys got a quarter back. Oh, I so. see. Our treasure hunt was easy, but theirs was um, harder for us. Oh. Uh -huh. But we won. Because <laughs> we yeah. were against Gwen. Uh-huh. Hmm. That's unusual. Okay. You gonna bite your nails on TV? It's gonna look real good. <laughs> mm -hmm. No. And you too, Elizabeth. You too. <laughs> I'm biting my nails. What are you I'm biting? You haven't got a tooth to bite it with, have you? No. <laughs> I'm just scratching. Just Is that so nice? I'm giving you yours to take home with you. Okay. No. <laughs> I could have some. Well, you yeah. suddenly like sauerkraut too? <laughs> yeah. Your friend likes it. <laughs> no, I like it. You do? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh. <laughs> okay. Uh. So, what else do you got two ladies have to say? Well, uh, Did like, you go to the toilet yet? Don't you have to go to the toilet? No. no. Aren't you going to do peepees? No. no. <laughs> we just we don't out. have to go to the bathroom once. What's, what do you mean bathroom? What do you Where think, a bath in the bathroom? Where do you guys go? Well, no. We don't, we don't have to go go peepee. <laughs> go peepee. <laughs> peepee. <laughs> no, we're big girls now. Big girls. You never go to the toilet, right? Big girls never have to go to the toilet. <laughs> Right. No, big girls do, but we just don't have to now. Not right now. No. Okay. <laughs> Alright, that's good. Or else you'd, you'd uh, have a wet place in the seats, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, how do you like your watch? Ooh, uh, I like it because I got it from Christmas last year. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So? Where, where, where did you get those earrings? I got them on my birthday. <laughs> oh, is that your birthstone? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> What's your birthstone? My birthstone. It's green. Green? Yes. Mine, I think, is either blue or some other color. Oh, Mine's green. Or like orangish pink. Hmm. That's strange. Hmm. Okay. So? What? <laughs> Um, we're going to do a song together, sing a song together, quickly. One, two, three. <laughs> we don't have a song. Jack and Jill. Jack and Jill? Yeah. Uh, I don't know that, that song, but I don't really like Jack and Jill, Jill went up the hill and got a pail of water. water. So cute. <laughs> Jack fell down and broke his crown. Fell down and broke his dookie. Yeah. <laughs> Jack and Joe went up the hill and fetched a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his boot cheek or whatever it's called. <laughs> and okay. Joe came. Slapping her after. after. Yeah. Okay, now don't sing because I'm going to sing my own. Okay, she's going to sing Mary her own. had a little left, little left. <laughs> Everybody was really unbelieving that Mary had a little lamb. The girls had little lambs? I thought they were little babies. I never thought of that. You never thought of that. <laughs> me, me neither. You're right. right. And the whole time right. her mother fainted when she, when she had the little lamb. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Are you sure this thing is on? Hello. Goodbye. Hello. I want to make a face. Make so do I. Okay. Hurry up. I love making things. All right, you make your face. <laughs> Real close. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right, make your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll make mine. Right, we'll make yours. I'm gonna do something neat. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, hold on. I want to do something now. All right. What was I gonna? Oh yeah. I hate the wind. I hate it when people do this thing. You go. Mm -hmm. right. Oh, there's this guy on TV. It's so funny. He said, "Yeah, this is my gym class." Duh. 
that was funny. Um, can you turn it back to me? I'm gonna do my face again. I wanna do my face. I wanna do my face. I wanna do my face. Move your hand, please. Come on, make up your mind, you're wasting my tape. That's a good one, hurry up. Ah, beautiful. <laughs> especially, especially with this angle, too. Psych. <laughs> wait. Yeah, wait, wait, everybody's gonna wait, just wait. for you. How's your summer been? Good. Tell me about it. Well. <laughs> Tell me, what has happened at your summer? Well, I fell off a horse, I got bucked off a horse, I fell down, um, I scraped my knee, I went off a ramp with one hand, and that's only the bad news. And the good news is, we're gonna have a new baby, we're gonna have You're gonna have a new baby, baby. do you, wait, if you're gonna have a new baby, do you, do you know if it's gonna be a boy or girl? I hope it's gonna be a girl, but I don't know if it's gonna be a boy or a girl. Okay, so what, a what boy. Daddy, what's daddy? Really? My dad was a boy. Wants what? A boy. So he can sleep and with you girls, right? No. Yeah. He just wants somebody to sleep in his room. I don't know why, though. I slept in his room two days. Sheets on my covers. Mm hmm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Sheets on my bed. I know it mm -hmm. is sick. Well, my good. summer has been boring. Wait, so mm -hmm. like, see. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, girls. Bye. Bye. Bye.